Understanding the relighting tool is our topic today um, in our coffee break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Glad you could join us. So our topic today is going to be on the relight tool. And this is an absolutely amazing tool. So I'm going to jump right over to the edit tab and... Let me put my little highlight on it so you can see it. So the, the Relight tool is down here under the Creative section. All right. I'm going to click on it. Now, the purpose of the Relight tool is simple. If, let's say, you're out in the middle of a shoot like this here, it looks beautiful. The image itself looks very, very good, but we can make it better. In this case here, if we just had a little more light shining upon him, and then the background itself we want to tone that background down just a bit and maybe add a little bit of color to it. That's how the Relight tool is going to take this image and just make it look um, even better. All right. So here we are. The first step is we're going to adjust the brightness near. And I, and I typically just go to an extreme so you can actually see what's happening. And we'll give it a second to render. So look at this. And that, that's way overboard. But look how that just relight the entire image. Well, I want to take that brightness far. And instead of going to a positive, I want to tone it down just a little because now it's going to make the young boy stand out even more. Now, look at this. If I didn't use the relight tool here or the brightness near, look how he's a little in shadow. Now I'm bringing them out, but just enough to make sure that we're not clipping. And now watch this depth slider. This is using that 3D technology. Look how cool that is. It's going to bring that light to the foreground all the way to the background here. So I want to push it right about there. That looks good to me. And every so often, click on the visibility icon so you can actually see what's going on. Look at this. Before, after. Look how he just came in to focus, how our eyes are drawn to him. Now we're going to take it another step further by clicking on Advance. Now, I don't see any halos around him. So if we started to get halos around him, this is where we would come over and adjust it with the de-halo slider. But what I do want to look at is the warmth slider. If I bring it to the left, it's going to cool the image down with more blue tones. To the right, we'll give it more of a golden tone, like golden hour. So let's give it just, just enough to where it doesn't look fake, but it's believable. And now back, let's do the same. Ooh, look at that. Look how we just totally changed the mood of this photo of when it was taken. So the relight tool isn't just adding light to the image, but you're also adding warmth to the near and to the far side of it. So you're changing the overall tonal values of the image itself. All right. So there we have it. In a very, very short time, we're able to use just one tool, one tool to add relight to the system or to the image. And then from here, I can continue by using the other tools to sharpen the image and a vignette, and so on. But this right here was a great starting point. And one more thing I want to add is once I click on the Relight tool, now we committed those changes to edit. So if I come back to the Relight tool, notice it looks like everything is set to default. Well, it is if I wanted to add Relight a second time. In this case, we don't want to. But if I wanted to make changes, now I click on edits, and from edits, here's where all the settings we just gave it, and we could change those settings to our needs. All right? Well, guys, thank you so Thanks. much for joining us. Please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.